Hello and welcome to this market update on Tuesday the 26th of July. In this short video I'll be looking at the recent slide in oil prices and whether the rally we've seen since mid-January has run its course. Now, since the highs in June, the characteristics of the price action would appear to suggest that we could well see further falls in the, pro in, in the oil price as the price continues to decline in a slow downward channel. And it is currently approaching the 200 day moving average on both the Brent and the WTI contracts. Now, I think while the WTI contract has taken out the May lows, as we can see from this chart here, we haven't as yet seen the same thing happen on the Brent contract. However, that doesn't mean that we won't. Now, since the end of May, we've seen the rig count number start to rise again from a low of 404 to 462 at the end of last week, which suggests that we've probably seen the lows here in terms of the rig count and with US driving season coming to an end and gasoline inventory still near record levels it would appear that markets have overestimated the ability of markets to work off the excess capacity. Now US driving season still has around about six weeks to go it generally ends the first weekend in September around about the Labor Day holiday but the fact is that gasoline inventories still remain at five-year highs and at this point of the season they're usually an awful lot lower than that. When you combine that with the fact that the US dollar is also near its best level since early March, the impact of a stronger dollar is also making its presence felt, which makes this week's FOMC meeting all the more important in terms of signalling with respect to the glide path for US interest rates. Since June the 13th, the prospect of a December rate rise has remained steady in or around that 45% level on the WIRP function of the Bloomberg terminal. So US policymakers, I think, will be keen to keep expectations near to or around that type of level. I think they're unlikely to want to be too hawkish as a stronger dollar acts as a fiscal tightener and the US dollar has already appreciated 4% from its pre-Brexit lows on a trade-weighted basis. At around, around about the 23rd of June it was trading at around about 93.52. It's now trading just above 97. So I think FOMC officials will be very, very keen to make sure that it doesn't really appreciate that much more. So let's look at the charts here as we can see from the Brent chart, the daily chart that we've got in front of me. The key supports on Brent oil sit at $43.50. That's this horizontal line from the May lows and the 200 day moving average at $42.15 with resistance at $45.50 which is around about the previous July lows that we saw around about here. Now the oscillator is still looking um, relatively oversold which does appear to suggest that maybe if we do get a retest of these May lows we, get a, we may get a little bit of a rebound but the direction of travel is fairly clear here. We are in a very, a very nice downward channel which would appear to suggest that potentially um, we could well see further losses over the course of the next few weeks. We're also looking to approach the 38.2% retracement of the entire up move from the lows that we saw in early, in early January, mid to early January, um, which also coincides roundabout with the 200 day moving average. So if we now go to the WTI contract we can do a similar sort of analysis similar sort of analysis here as well as we can see as, as I highlighted earlier here we we've broken through the May lows which we haven't as yet done on the Brent contract but again the similarities are certainly um, quite prescient here we have got decent support again around about $40 a barrel. If we do a similar sort of retracement levels here we can, we can again see a similar sort of support levels coming in around about in this case $41.57 on WTI and then below that $40 a barrel with resistance at $44.30 which again coincides with the previous July lows that we broke through um, in the middle of last week. Thanks very much for listening. This is Michael Hewson talking to you from CMC Markets.